Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collections. Uh, today, folks, I want to share with you another watch for the collection. And this is a watch I've had on my list for quite some time, and that is the Bulova Octava in that all blacks iced out finish. Uh, so, you folks know I'm a huge fan of the black watches, uh, as long as they have something to really set them apart. Uh, with this watch, what I really liked about it is the fact that it's covered in 300 uh, black crystals. Now, this watch is available in a couple different variations. You get it in the two-tone yellow and silver with the white stones or clear stones. You can also get it in the all silver, and I believe they make it in a rose and silver tone as well with the clear stones but this is the only one with the black on black and as I've mentioned in many other videos you know with a black watch there's got to be something that really sets it apart um, otherwise it just looks like a plain old G-Shock and again nothing wrong with the G-Shocks I'm a fan of G-Shock as well but you know for depending on your personality you might want something a little bit more I don't know more flashy a little less um, um, I guess a little less uh, more for like the the work world. I don't know. G-Shock to me uh, is just more of an industrial kind of watch. You know what I mean? It's like a work boot. You know, you can still you can still dress it up. You can still use it as a fashion piece. But I like something a little bit with a little more flash, as you guys know. So let's talk about the Bulva. So um, now, what I like about Bulva is you're getting a certain level of quality for a certain price, just like you do with Invicta or Aragon. Uh, the problem with a lot of iced out watches is that you don't have a lot to choose from in the in, in the affordable realm, right? You basically have Invicta, Aragons, and let's face it, some of the Invictas, honestly, in my opinion, are pretty expensive. You know, I understand that diamonds do have a certain value associated with them, but, you know, I've said it before, it's hard for me to rationalize a $150 to $300 watch. You throw some diamonds on it, and next thing you know, now it's a $1,200 watch. So you're still getting that $150 watch. Perfect example is my Grand Octane. I have, I have Grand Octanes that were $136, and the Grand Octanes that were $400. They're all the same watch. It just really comes down to supply and demand, and timing is everything, really, with everything in life, right? So, uh, you know... When it comes to Invicta, of course, you're going to get some amazing iced out pieces, but generally Invicta uses uh, real diamonds. Invicta does use a few, it does have a couple watches with the spinel, some gemstones, uh, but you know, you kind of got to jump on those watches when you, when you see them because they really sell out pretty quick. So with this watch, again, you get the diamond look without the diamond price. And anybody who says that you, you can tell the difference when it comes to stones this small, to the naked eye, no, you cannot. You really have to know what you're looking for. Unless you're a diamond expert, maybe a diamond expert could take his jeweler's loop and stare at this and maybe determine that they're not real and they're, they're just actually crystals. But really, to the naked eye, they sparkle just, just like regular diamonds. So I, I to me, it doesn't make any sense to spend extra money for diamonds uh, because really um, you, you just can't tell the difference you know and again anybody who says even with clear stones anybody who says oh you could tell you might be able to tell if you know what you're looking for on really large stones but when it comes to diamond chips or really tiny pave stones like this um, you, you can't tell the difference so what's the point of spending the money right so let's talk about the watch and then I'll show you guys what it looks like on the wrist. I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter and we're going to see how it does. I try to keep my videos under 20 minutes, but sometimes that could be a little bit of a, you know, a long time. So I'm going to try to cut back on some of the story time unless I do a video specifically for stories, right? So let's get right, right to it. So 300 crystals. I have seen this listed on some websites that they're Swarovski crystals. If you're not familiar with Swarovski, they make like a lot of, uh, I believe, scope and... Um, uh, lens glasses, right? And they make uh, crystals uh, or crystal uh, like flatware and stuff like that um, or crystal glasses, those kinds of things. So they're kind of known for having just beautiful crystals. I think Julia Gardner was just sponsored by them and you can see all over her Instagram she's wearing the beautiful Swarovski necklaces and all that stuff. So there is an element of, uh, of price and quality when it comes to Swarovski. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but some guys are listing this or some sellers are listing this as Swarovski. Bulova does not list it as Swarovski, so I would probably lean towards these not being Swarovski. I've seen sellers a lot of times with other brands uh, use that as kind of a kind of a, a bait tactic to say, oh, these are Swarovskis, you know, and you, you you think that you're getting something that's a higher level of quality and that's, you know, a genuine high quality crystal. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but uh, again, go with the, the Bulova website. 30, 18, 30 meters of water resistance. This is a quartz watch. I think it's the only 
Uh, thing about it that I wish uh, it had an automatic, you know, I am an automatic kind of guy, but you're not going to see Bulova put a, you know, a outsourced movement in their watches. Even though this is probably just a generic quartz, I don't think it's like a Bulova quartz. It's not on par with like the Precisionist, you know what I mean? That's a, a fantastic watch. The level of quality on this is less than a Precisionist. It's, I would say it's close to a pro diver, uh, if not on par, but it just feels a little bit lighter weight. That's probably because the links are a little bit thinner. Um, it's more of a dress watch as opposed to a dive watch, right? So you're gonna lose a little bit of weight. Good news, it is genuine sterling uh, or stainless steel, excuse me. Uh, I believe it's 316. And it's done with a, this has got the uh, black plating. I'm not sure if this is a, like a diamond like coating or whatnot, but no matter who makes these plated watches, as long as you get some, getting something of a brand name, uh, I've never had any kind of issues with the plating coming off, whether it's gold, rose gold, blue, black, whatever color. So, um, so what else about this one? There's not a ton to say about the features. Um, let me just, I'll read you right what it says off the bull of the website. Uh, their bold statement, it just says crystal and quartz. So nothing really uh, to write home about there. You do have, do have a six hand uh, display. Now this is not a chronograph watch, although some of you might look at that and say, oh, it's a chronograph because you have these crown protectors, which almost look like they're function pusher buttons. I'm not sure if they meant to do that on purpose, but um, definitely not a chronograph. You have 24-hour uh, time and your day and date. Uh, you do have a little bit of luminous hands on, of course, the minute and hour markers or, or hands, uh, but it's not amazing. But you don't really buy a watch like this for the loom. Um, and uh, what else? Stainless steel case, stainless steel band, a bracelet, and uh, the indices are a kind of a, a mirror polished silver. So really flashy watch. Uh, just keep in mind when you get this, a lot of the pictures you see, um, I had thought that the stones come all the way down the bracelet. They don't. They stop uh, at four links, which really, uh, let me just go ahead and throw it on here. When, when I throw it on, you'll see that it's really all you need because the rest of, this, rest of these links, uh, at least on a seven inch wrist, that comes right around the corner of my wrist, almost towards the bottom. So right here is where those stones stop and they have kind of like these little uh, dimples uh, to simulate that it's still stones. But uh, I mean, really, it's pretty hard to tell the difference, especially when you're wearing this. It still has a beautiful sparkle around the band. And the nice thing about that too, um, you know, this is generally where you wear your watches down around the bracelet. Uh, you're not gonna have a stone accidentally chip out or break or something like that. So um, I like the fact that they did that. It gives you the, the look of that the whole band is actually done. And really, what's the difference? I mean, really, that's all you really need. Uh, you do have, uh, again, stones right around the bezel and the whole face is covered with those black stones. Uh, it is just a stunning watch, and I've, like I said, I've had this on my, my radar for quite some time. Now the price on these uh, has jumped up. I remember when I saw this watch a couple years ago, you can get it for roughly around the $250 price point. It is skyrocketed. Right now on the Bulova website, you're looking at 500. They do have their retail, like Invicta does, with their 625. However, you're never gonna pay that. You could always get it cheaper. Right now, as of today's price, it's about 450 on Amazon. I will put a link in the description where you can pick this up. Um, you know, a lot of times when we look at watches like this, we might say, oh, well, there's better values out there. And I don't want, you know, if you guys are gonna come at the video and then make a comment, Oh, but the Victor gives you a better value. There's lots of great valued watches out there. And just because one watch may not give you as much as another watch, it doesn't mean it's not a good value for you personally. For me, um, I know how difficult it is to find black, murdered out, iced out watches. And when you see them, you kind of have to jump on them. Um, I've done that with Invicta, as long as the price is somewhat affordable. When I, when I, Invicta loses me when they start spe, uh, charging, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 for a watch uh, because of some diamonds. Although I'd love to have some of those, uh, I'm not gonna spend that money. My, my sweet spot for watches is under, you know, under the $500 price point and really that, it really depends. I have to really want the watch. With this one, I've been wanting for a while. I did get rid of a couple uh, Invictus I don't wear, and I wanted something that was going to be all black with some subtle ice uh, that was a smaller size, you know. And you guys, if you've been watching me, I have a huge collection of watches. I always find it funny when people comment and they 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 watch one of my videos and they take that as like that's every watch in my collection is huge. And that's not the case. I like all sized watches um, and I think there's a time and a place for all different types of watches. And the great thing about having a huge collection is that whatever your mood may be, you have something to wear. You have something to accessorize yourself with. 
rather than one or two watches. So that's the great thing about affordable watches. And this, you know, again, with a watch like this, if you're going to go with something that's smaller, that's iced out, you don't have a lot of options. And of the years I've been looking at watches, I've only come across two murdered out, black on black, black iced watches. One by Guess, which I should have bought. Uh, and then the Bulva, and those where you got those two brands, you know you're going to get a decent quality watch. I'd say that the Bulva is probably a better quality watch than, of course, the um, the Guess, but not by much. V very similar, you know. Guess is on par with like Diesel and that kind of and Fossil and those kinds of brands. Uh, but I should have got it because it is pretty awesome, but I didn't, and <laughs> now it's the end of it. But that's why I did want to pick up this watch before it was all gone. Uh, if you want to get anything else that's black, you have to really go with something that is gonna be brands like Hello Ice or Pin Time or some of those really entry level, uh, really lower quality watches. You know, you're not gonna get genuine stainless steel with a lot of those brands. You're gonna get just like a plated alloy, which again, has its purpose. I'm not saying don't buy it, but I think if you want something with a nice quality that, that you know, you can be proud of, uh, and somebody's not gonna, you know, if you somebody says, "Hey, can I see your watch?" You're not gonna say, "Oh, that feels that feels kind of light," you know. And those, some of those cheaper, affordable hip hop brands, you know, they are what they are. You know, they, they're they're pretty cool. Don't get me wrong; I still enjoy wearing them. But uh, you know, it's it, you, when you take it off, you it can you feel you can feel the difference. That it's it's tinny, it's light. With this, you don't get that feeling. So if you do like the Pro Diver, you like Invicta, you like Aragon, you're gonna like this Bull of a Watch. Really, any of the Bull of a Watches give you that level of quality. Um, I can even say that a lot of times Invicta, when you get into the, a lot of the entry level Invictas, the quality, some some of their watches that are not stainless steel. Like I've held a few Angel watches that are like a plated alloy, and there's a real difference in quality, even by Invicta when you go with something that that affordable, that inexpensive. And sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes you need to get a pro dive for cheaper than some of those watches. So it just really depends on who's selling what uh, and what kind of deals they got going on. But with this watch, you're going to get a, just a sexy murdered out black on black watch and nothing looks cooler than this with like a nice black you know pinky ring or a nice iced out ring um i need to increase some of my uh my jewelry pieces again nothing expensive you can you know spend your money on how you want to spend it i'm not going to spend a lot of money on things that you just can't visually tell the difference you know when i look at a watch like this and even if these were real diamonds i'm not gonna be able to tell the difference neither is anybody else so what to me what's the point in spending the money i'd rather just go ahead and buy another watch but uh, some of you might think that this is a little bit pricey for this, and it is because when you're looking at a watch like this compared to the, the Precisionist, the Precisionist is a much more robust watch, uh, but it's still a beautiful piece, and again, you're, you're getting the look. So you're sacrificing a little bit of the quality for the look. Now again, I'm not saying that this watch is, is poor quality, but if you do compare it to like a Pro Diver, if you were to physically pick up those watches, feel a reserve level timepiece by Invicta, feel the Aragon watches, and then feel the Precisionist and this, you're gonna say, all right, this one feels lighter. But remember, it is a lighter weight watch. It is smaller, it is thinner, it's meant to be more of a dress watch, and dress watches tend to have a much smaller wrist presence. But uh, that's where you get those diamonds, those, those stones or crystals to really, uh, really make it pop. So uh, definitely a cool piece, you know, uh, as far as styling, uh, I think, you know, I love when I, I throw all black on, black shirt, black jeans, black boots, black leather jacket. It's just something sexy and sleek about it. So uh, anyway, check it out, guys. I'll put a link in the description. Again, if you do like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like and a thumbs up if you did find the content helpful. And if you do have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help you guys out. Have a wonderful day and take care.